Well, French cement, cement maker Lafarge pleaded guilty in federal court here in New York, in Brooklyn today, uh, to this single count of conspiracy to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization and agreed to pay uh, some $778 million dollars in forfeiture and fines as part of this plea agreement. Now, this charge was related to the French company's uh, payments to the Islamic State group, amongst others, to keep a cement plant operating in Syria between 2013 and 2014. And U.S. prosecutors said that Lafarge had paid these groups designated as terrorists by the United States, including the Islamic State group, and uh, as al Nusra Front, uh, millions of dollars through intermediaries, intermediaries. And remember that this was a time when, in Syria, uh, these groups were kidnapping and killing journalists and activists. Uh, so uh, Magali Anderson, a top executive at Lafarge, appeared in federal court today in Brooklyn and entered this, this guilty plea uh, and admitted uh, that, yes, there had been uh, a conspiracy and that some former executives at Lafarge had knowingly and willingly uh, agreed to uh, participate and uh, make an authorised payment intended for the benefit of the various armed groups in Syria. And she said, however, that those individuals had since left the company, uh, which was, of course, bought by Holson, a Switzerland-based firm, in 2015, and that uh, those uh, um, that, that whole operation had been concealed from uh, Holson and that it was uh, innocent of any involvement in that.